Hey, I'm Lisa Canning. I'm a mom coach and a mom of seven kids, and I help moms pursue their personal goals and dreams while being great moms at the same time. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some tips on how to road trip with kids, as well as stay tuned for a sneak peek at our brand new house in Southwest Florida. Okay, so exciting times. We are getting our van ready to do our epic, it ends up being, I think, with stops about 27 hours. Um, and so I wanna show you what our van looks like before I bring in all the stuff. And one thing I do is always make sure that I pack the night before, and then we just get a very early start on the road, um, having breakfast, like even in the car sometimes. So let me show you what our passenger van looks like before I load in all the stuff. Ooh, heave ho, heave ho. All right, so this is our van, like somewhat clean. It is just a miracle. I'm going to pack as much as I can the night before, um, like right now, uh, so that the morning is really seamless. Every time we do this, we try a different hack to see what we like best. And this year we are trying, instead of a packing cube, or um, if you watched a video that I'll link for you um, in the cards, we used to use these plastic, um, sort of kind of like a packing cube. But this time we're gonna try these mesh bags and see how they work. I really like them because they are different colors, which is super fun, and you can still see through them so I can tell whose is whose, and they just will stuff. And I'll show you packing this in the back of my van why the stuffing aspect is really essential. Okay, so this first bag is a bag of linens. Um, I find the kids get cold and stuff with the air conditioning and we drive right through the night. So to have blankets close at hand is really handy. And I'm gonna stuff it like right here in this area. So now I'm focusing on the trunk. So we have our big um, bugaboo double stroller. Um, and so why I really like packing with mesh bags or anything that is a bit more malleable is that see you can kind of like shove it in the crevices um rather than a hard suitcase or a backpack i just find that this is a bit more strategic and the other thing that i'm really excited about this is just a mesh laundry bag and i think it was five dollars things like life jackets like this is just so much more strategic it's breathable you know they can dry in it last year we just had them in a big plastic bag this is going to be so much better Okay, another fun hack is a rest stop bag. So this is again from experience. <laughs> I would pack this kind of stuff, like a soccer ball, a whatever this kind of ball is, a Nerf ball? I don't know what that's called. Um, a little baseball, some baseball gloves. So we would pack this kind of like in with a whole bunch of other stuff. And again, experience has shown me to keep this sort of separate and handy. So I think this is actually gonna go possibly in the interior of the car I might put it at the back where my boys sit okay so it's the morning of and I want to show you what our car looks like now fully packed and ready to go okay so here is the back of the van like I showed you guys yesterday all of the packs the little mesh laundry bags um, are all stacked and then we brought a playpen we brought some hangers because we are going to our new house where there's like nothing and everything is just sort of like you know and, I have a son. and there's my son <laughs> and everything's jammed in here in the back You just gotta be prepared for the unexpected. We had a kid puke only maybe 45 minutes into our trip. So let me show you how we deal with puke because, well, it's not the first time we've had to deal with puke on a long car ride. So let me show you a couple things that we do to prepare um, and deal with puke on the road. <laughs> All right, so here's the lovely little guy who puked. How are you feeling? Are you feeling better? <laughs> so we changed him into pajamas 
and quite a bit of puke got all over the car seat so all I did was wipe it down with wipes sometimes I actually travel with paper towel and my spray with um, essential oil like soap in it um, but today I just use wipes but then my hack for making everything smell good after is I literally just sprinkle like sprinkle 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 um, my favorite essential oil over the um, fabric of the car seat and so then it doesn't smell so badly like puke anymore um, and then we have I always travel with bags because you just never know and so the bat the clothes that got all soiled um, I just tied up in a bag and to be very honest with you there have been road trips where I've just thrown the clothes out because we're gonna be in the car for a long time and I don't want it to smell but I've got a bag so here we go and then what I'm gonna do now for lovely little Jamesy oh my Jamesy <laughs> is I'm gonna take a towel and I'm actually gonna take the towel and put it here like on top of him because he's too little to hold like a um, what do you guys call it like a barf bucket like he's he's too too small he won't really hold it I don't think so I'm just gonna put a towel and see if he'll tolerate he'll a towel it on top of him it's so pretty Whoa. all right so I want to know tell me what is one place one destination that you would absolutely love to take your family to let me know in the comments below I moved to the back of the car to sit beside Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. And so I thought I'd show you guys a couple of the bags that are here that I keep close to the front of the car so that I can have them easy access. So in this big bag, it's like the kitchen and dry, um, non perishable food bag. So here I've got baby bumbums, I've got stuff for our destination like cake mix and uh, some kitchen utensils because we're not going to have any. themselves and with each other sometimes it can be uncomfortable sometimes people can get cranky and so I actually think a road trip is a really good exercise in showing um, grace both to yourself and to others so everybody in the family gets a neck pillow and I will even sprinkle these with essential oils just so they smell really nice and I will put in the links below where I got these particular ones 
And then the other thing that I do is I make sure that every member of the family, because I find sometimes sharing doesn't always work, <laughs> because people pull the blankets, but everybody in the family gets a blanket. So I don't know about you, but I find air conditioning can be um, like very comfortable, obviously, but then you can get almost too cold and it's just nice to be cuddled up. Right, Rose, have you got your blanket? Yeah. So nice. <laughs> Hi, Evelyn. Hi, John. <laughs> oh, Joseph, I have a blankie for you here. Don't worry. Hey guys, how was our first meal stop? Probably our last meal stop. For today, maybe. Hi! <laughs> Hi, James. This is the kid who has thrown up now twice on this trip. So it is 7 p.m. So we are just shy of 12 hours. Almost at 12 hour mark. Um, no, 12. We left at 8. That's 12, right? Oh, sorry, yeah, right. So, so we just... I, I kept track. I, uh, I started um, a stopwatch on the iPad. Oh my gosh. So we are just shy of 12 hours. Uh, we left our house in Toronto at 8 a.m. and we are just on 7.06. Um, I am feeling pretty okay. I had a little bit of a nap. Uh, a lot of water did me good and some food. Uh, baby Phoebe is sleeping soundly beside me. Aww. And um, kids have enjoyed 2.5 movies <laughs> and maybe 30 minutes of an audiobook. So all in all, it's been um, a fairly smooth um, 12 hours. How are you guys feeling back there? Good. Yeah? Even this guy who threw up twice. And guys, new mom moment, my friends. Two times he threw up. New mom moment. And just, this is perhaps graphic and TMI. First time he threw up. Oh, hello. <laughs> First time he vomited, he vomited all over himself and the car seat and all that jazz, obviously. I was sitting in the front seat, so I couldn't catch it. Second time he vomited, though, I was prepared, and oh my word, I caught his vomit in a plastic cup. Honestly, I do not think I've experienced anything like this in motherhood. That was like next level mom ninja. <laughs> it made cleanup so much easier because the majority of it, so he didn't have to change clothes or anything. We just wiped up whatever got, you know, soiled a little bit, and then the whole thing went in the garbage. Tada. Okay, I'm gonna put a poll right here. Let me know, does the idea of an overnight road trip excite you or terrify you? All right, so how we do bedtime in the car is I guess kind of similar to how we do bedtime at home. So we just finished our family rosary and we just did it in the car. And then um, basically everybody's got their blanket, everybody's got their pillow. We'll do maybe one more stop to go to the bathroom and brush our teeth and then it is lights out, so to speak. Um, and then everybody kind of just cozies up and goes to sleep. It's hard to see, but this is a van of sleeping kids. <laughs> bunch of sleeping kids back there. It is 6.09. So we are now, Josh has driven a record. He has never driven this far for this many hours um, ever in our lives. <laughs> He's drove for almost like just 21 hours. That is just incredibly talented that's what it is so now i'm taking over driving it's 6 a.m i had like a intermittent sleep obviously like i sort of woke up every once in a while um over, hours. <laughs> over the course of 16 hours my husband reminds me so now it's my turn to drive and we're only about four hours away to the ratio there my husband drove 21 hours i am driving for <laughs> not really fair <laughs> All right, so it's 9.57, so we're now coming up on 26 hours of travel, and it's interesting because I notice a very similar pattern in terms of my emotions, so I find that um, 
the beginning of the day so the first eight hours or so is like just like fun and exciting and then when it hits nighttime I start to get a bit like oh man it's gonna be a grueling night and then when it comes time to my for my time to drive which is such a small portion compared to Josh um, I begin to dread it because I'm afraid that I'm not gonna be able to drive very far and it's gonna take forever and then we're gonna be delayed because of me and my inability to drive more than like 45 minutes without stopping to go to the bathroom or stretch or something and then when we hit this point so the morning so um, I started driving on this trip at about I guess 5 30 or 6 it's like excitement I'm just like and this is actually a very common pattern like I, 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 I can recall this exact pattern all the other times that we've done this trip so right now I just feel pumped I'm excited I kind of feel like a bit of an accomplishment you know like we've we've um, we've made it we've um, traversed multiple United States um, so yeah, it's really exciting. The other thing that's very unique about this time around is that we are going to go see our brand new house in Florida. A house that we like have dreamed up, that we worked very hard for, that's taken quite a bit of trial and error to get. <laughs> we learned pretty quickly that buying a house as Canadians, there's you know many, many steps involved. Um, and so it feels really different this time to go knowing that we're going to enter with keys to a house that we own, that we have purchased, that we have, you know, vision boarded and got excited about and have been thinking about. Like this has been on my ideal life plan for two and a half years. So there's a whole other set of emotions this time around knowing what is to come when we pull up to that driveway. Like, and that is really exciting. <laughs> Can you believe this is the kid that has barfed maybe three times on this trip? But he's in such good spirits, James. What a way to travel. Everybody should live life like James. Okay, guys, we are like five minutes away from our brand new house. This house that we've been planning for so many years. And I honestly, I'm beside myself. I can't wait. 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 Are you excited, Phoebe? I see it! Mommy, it's okay, you don't need to cry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> Mommy's <laughs> crying! Oh, you're crying. You okay, Mommy? I'm so happy! <laughs> Are you guys happy? Oh, I think James wants to get out. Now the only thing I want to do is dash into that house. Maybe you're replaced by a ring. Oh no, guys. I forgot the keys in Canada. No! Oh, no. no! What do we do? Just kidding. Oh, thank you, come on. Open it, open it. All right. <laughs> 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 What do you think, James? <laughs> Ready to go exploring? <laughs> There's lots of bathrooms. There's one right there. You can use that one. Okay. <laughs> Who's ready to stretch their legs? Yeah. After 28 hours. I am so excited to share more of our journey of moving to Southwest Florida and our brand new house with you. So make sure you hit subscribe to see future videos, including a before tour and after design tour with all our furniture in it and much more. In the meantime, my family has been on quite a few travel adventures and so I've compiled a playlist of some of my favorite travel videos and I hope that they help you in your future road trip planning. I'll see you on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
you like the sassafras? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay.